coming up on NT right now. A new Albany police officer and his girlfriend were found dead in a Louisville home early Saturday morning. In the market for new appliances, but can't find what you need? Charlie Wilson's appliances, TVs, and mattresses has over $2 million of inventory in stock and ready to go. Your dollar goes farther at Charlie Wilson's in Clarksville. Hello, welcome to NT right now on Monday, January 31st. Congratulations on getting through the first month of 2022. Let's get started. A new Albany police officer and his girlfriend were found dead in a Louisville home early Saturday morning. Their deaths are being investigated as a domestic murder-suicide. In a news release issued Saturday, New Albany Police Chief Todd Bailey said the off-duty police officer was 33-year-old Nico Sturdivant. He had been with the NAPD since October of 2018. News and Tribune partner Wave 3 News reported that neighbors said the woman was Sturdivant's girlfriend and that the incident happened in the 3500 block of Fountain Drive in Louisville. Bailey said because the Louisville Metro Police Department's investigation is ongoing, no more information was available to the public as of Saturday. This week's Pet of the Week is Jack, a large poodle mix weighing in at 55 pounds. He came to New Albany Floyd County Animal Shelter as a stray, and at first he was pretty nervous about meeting new people. Shelter staff worked with Jack to teach him how to be comfortable around humans. Jack is athletic, a little clumsy, and needs a patient owner willing to work with him and help him with house training. Jack should meet any dogs in the household before coming home, and he'll need to be professionally groomed once he's adopted. He's neutered, microchipped, and vaccinated. If you want to meet Jack, fill out an adoption application at nafcanimalshelter.org. Last week, the Federal Reserve announced plans to begin raising interest rates in March, reversing policies instituted during the pandemic to spur hiring and growth. Yurik Dufresne, Sanders Chair in Business at IU Southeast, says the raising of rates is a step to curb inflation and protect the economy from collapsing. That could have a, um, uh, a, a softening impact on the economy, and, and that is what it's designed to do, right? So... Uh, you know, by increasing interest rates, the, what the Fed is hoping is that we achieve what's called a, a soft landing, where, where the, there's not a significant slowdown leading to a recession. So a soft landing would tend to sort of tap the brakes in the economy, uh, slow down just a bit, uh, but just enough to uh, lower, lower some of these uh, inflationary pressures that we've been seeing. Dufresne says raising rates might have an impact on individual households' net worth, but probably not too much. Uh, here's why, because the, that, that net worth is a function of primarily two assets. One is the, what's happening in the equity markets and what's happening in real estate, right? So the largest asset for uh, most people is the home that they own. And then you have the, uh, you have the stock market, right? And so... <clears throat> It's very difficult to predict the stock market, and I'm not going to even try to, to uh, do that. You know, in, any, any uh, erosion we get in the, in the stock market, right? So any declines that we see in the stock market, that, that will have an adverse impact on, on net worth. I don't see any reason to believe that the, the household balance sheets are going to be under significant pressures um, uh, over the next year or two, right? I don't see a significant erosion in and the net worth of, of the typical household. Dufresne says the rate hikes aren't likely to hurt home values much. You know, we have record-breaking increases in home values. And at the same time, we have, we've, we've had a declining trend in home equity loans. And so right now, households are sitting on uh, a lot of home equity that they have not yet, uh, you know, tapped into. Right. So there's been a decline in overall uh, the number of home equity loans issued. At the same time, we've had these big run ups, big increases in home values. Uh, I, I don't anticipate uh, that to decline significantly. There might be a softening of the increases, might even maybe be some small declines, perhaps. I, I'm not sure. But 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 the uh, with the combination of uh, declining debt levels 
within the household and the big increase in home equity values, right? That, that means that the household, the typical household is positioned favorably for additional spending. The Federal Reserve's next meeting is scheduled for mid-March. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Kristen Stratman for NT Right Now.